Stefan Basil Molyneux is a Canadian blogger. Molyneux's areas of interest include anarcho-capitalism, secular ethics, libertarianism, cryptocurrencies, and familial relationships. He is a self-published author and has spoken at libertarian conferences and on podcasts. Molyneux formerly worked in the software industry. Background Molyneux was born in Ireland and moved to Canada when he was about 12 years old. After attending the Glendon College of York University, where he was a member of Theatre Glendon and the Debating Society, he attended the National Theatre School of Canada in Montreal. Molyneux received a BA in History from McGill University in 1991 and an MA in History from University of Toronto in 1993. In early 1995, he and his brother Hugh founded Caribou Systems Corporation, a Toronto-based provider of environmental database software. Stefan was the salesman for the company. The company was sold in 2000. Free Domain Radio Podcast In 2005, Molyneux began a podcast called Free Domain Radio. He uses the same name for the website on which he distributes his own writings, hosts podcast archives, and provides an internet forum for FDR listeners. Molyneux also produces videos and commentary on current events, and he presents a weekly call-in show on which listeners can ask questions or discuss personal issues. These call-in shows have occasionally been guest-hosted men's movement activist Warren Farrell and unschooling advocate Dana Martin. Molyneux funds his efforts by soliciting direct payment from listeners and viewers. Molyneux conducted interviews and unmoderated debates with guests including Noam Chomsky, anarcho-libertarian theorist Walter Bloch, Zeitgeist founder Peter Joseph, libertarian economist David Friedman, psychological development and addiction specialist Gabor Marta Copyright, developmental psychologist Alison Gopnik, child psychologist Peter Gray, Socratic journalist Jan Heelfeld, Harvard Economics lecturer and Cato Institute fellow Jeffrey Mirren, intellectual property attorney Stefan Kinsler, Austrian school economist Robert P. Murphy, and Divorce Corporation director Joseph Sorge. After the fact, Peter Joseph expressed concerns regarding the conduct of his debate with Molyneux. Jeffrey Tucker of the Ludwig von Mises Institute has described Molyneux as probably the single most influential libertarian thinker of our times for his ability to teach young people in the digital age. Molyneux and FOO were the subject of an investigative documentary by Channel 5 in the United Kingdom, which aired on August 20, 2015. Public Appearances Molyneux has spoken at various libertarian events including the New Hampshire Liberty Forum, Liberty Fest NYC, Las Vegas Freedom Fest, Libertopia, and Pork Fest. Molyneux has been a frequent guest host of the Peter Schiff Show since 2012. In 2014, Molyneux spoke at the Texas Bitcoin Conference, the Toronto 2014 Bitcoin Expo, and the next web conference in Amsterdam. He spoke on the topics of circumcision and maternal parenting at the June 2014 International Conference on Many Euro Unregistered Trademark S Issues hosted by A Voice for Men in Detroit. Views and Criticism Equals Stateless Society Equals, Molyneux theorizes that peaceful parenting and the pursuit of virtue in our personal lives could bring about a stateless society that abhors the initiation of force. In addition, the free market, polycentric legal systems and private dispute resolution organizations could be empowered to find new and more peaceful ways of adjudicating common law infractions and contractual disputes. Equals universal and natural justice equals, Molyneux suggests that, in the ideal of a libertarian society, moral universalism would naturally create legally and socially binding relationships between people. In 2012, Libertarian philosopher David Gordon gave a critical examination of Molyneux's 2007 Universally Preferable Behavior, a rational proof for secular ethics in the Mises Review, stating, he fails, and fails miserably. His arguments are often preposterously bad. A rebuttal by Molyneux addressing Gordon's criticisms was posted to his message board, Free Domain Radio, three days after Gordon's article was published. Equals family of origin relationships equals, Molyneux refers to the family that people are born into as their family of origin or FOO. Molyneux suggests that, 
the family of origin relationships may not necessarily be desirable and in some circumstances may even be detrimental and thus for those individuals having suffered abusive childhood relationships it would be advantageous for them to sever such involuntary relationships as adults, or de fou. In this way, he views all adult relationships as being voluntary and discretionary rather than obligatory. According to a 2008 article in The Guardian, both Molyneux and his wife had defooed. In 2009, Molyneux was called the leader of a therapy cult following Free Domain Radio community member Tom Weed breaking off all contact with his family. In April 2008, Weed had called into the show asking about his veganism and his feeling of disgust towards people that eat meat. Molyneux suggested that this disgust could have come from witnessing an authority figure that was cruel to animals. Weed responded by describing memories of his father being verbally and physically cruel to the family cat, causing him to feel intimidated by the father, and then described his emotional detachment toward his mother and the rest of his family. The following month, Weed left a note stating he no longer wanted contact and left home. It was reported that, of the 50,000 regular listeners at the time, about 20 FDR members had also de food and that many families chose not to come forward to avoid alienating their children further. A representative of the British Cult Information Centre said they were following FDR, and noted that one sign of cults was that they cut people off from their families. Molyneux responded by saying that had he advised a wife to leave an abusive husband, he would not be accused of being a cult leader. In 2012, the College of Psychologists of Ontario found Molyneux's spouse, a licensed psychologist, guilty of professional misconduct, because she used Molyneux's podcast, to counsel people to emulate her and sever ties with their families. The disciplinary panel sanctioned his wife requiring peer mentoring and cessation of activities with Stefan Molyneux's podcast in any professional aspect. Other sanctions and penalties were given as well, agreed to by his wife. Equals alleged listening in non-confidential therapy sessions equals Molyneux has been sued for allegedly listening in non-confidential therapy sessions conducted by his wife, without the permission of her patients. The civil complaint against Molyneux states that in a 2006 podcast, Molyneux boasted to his fans about listening in on the sessions. Equals DMCA abuse and lawsuit equals, in October 2014, a lawsuit was filed against Stefan Molyneux his assistant Michael DeMarco and Free Domain Radio related to DMCA complaints filed by Deke Marco on behalf of FDR against the critical YouTube channel Tia Ushibes for misusing the system against videos containing fair use clips taken from his shows. The lawsuit was later amended to include FDR's holding company, Live Data Design Corporation. Molyneux has stated that as an anarcho-capitalist, he is opposed to intellectual property. Bibliography References External links, Official Site, Free Domain Radio, Columns by Molyneux on Strike the Root, Articles by Molyneux on LewRockwell.com, Stefan Molyneux at the Internet Movie Database